Today is counted one week after the attack by Israeli troops to Palestine in Masjid al-Aqsa. 400 worshippers were arrested and 150 others were injured. The videos that you've seen and circulated in so social media wasn't the first. In fact, it also happens last year, the year after that, and the other other years after that, at the same place, towards the same people, in the same months, the holy month of Ramadan, with roughly with the same casualties. Speaking of one week, this event eventually happened in another part of the world with casualties, victims, and high death toll. Yes, Ukraine and Russia. Within just one week, the whole world comes together to voice their support towards Ukraine, uh, giving sanctions, condemning the acts of Russia, World leaders even comes together and try to put an end towards the attack. Ironically, a similar act of violence also happened, but in a different part of the world. For within just the same period of time, for only one week after the event, there are no further actions the to be made. No condemnation or sanctions were given to the yeah, nation okay. that violently abuse not only the holy site of the al compound, but also to the people, the worshippers to the Palestinian, not to mention from the mainstream media perspective. Huge news agencies are using irrelevant, even misleading terms to describe this event. For instance, the use of the word clash. Even though United Nations and Amnesty International have been actively labeling Israel as an apartheid nation, we expect these news agencies to change their diction, to thoroughly describe this type of event. Moreover, other sources claim to entirely single out, blaming to the Palestinian children for throwing rocks to one of the most powerful, equipped personnel, military in the world. Last month, we saw Facebook or any kind of social media platforms allows war urging violence against Russia to expose their violence acts towards Ukraine. And yet, today, we saw a different image. Many of posts, videos, photos were taken down in the social media platform regarding the attack in the al compound. This narrative only be described into two words, double standards. And this double standards, sadly, is working at its finest. We can see how the world reacts, how the world projectile towards the same type of event, but two different people. I'm not trying to spread hatred here throughout this video that you're watching. I am exercising my right, the freedom of speech, to voice the unheard. Therefore, I'm also asking everyone here that is watching this video to come together, work together, voice the unheard together, under one body, under one union, under one goal, to defend the rights of the Palestinian people and to liberate Palestine and al -Aqsa. From the river to the sea, Palestine, inshallah, will be free.